Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about numbers by another point of view. In chemistry, or in general in sciences, we may report our numbers by two different methods. In this video, I'm going to explain for you how to learn a new method in general for our chemistry class. When we say numbers, we can report our numbers by one method we may use daily to report the numbers. We call that standard numbers. Another one, we call that scientific notation. Scientific notation. And we are going to know what is the difference between standard numbers and scientific notation. For example, you may say 185.6 kilograms. So, in your report, you have this number and unit. We call that measured numbers, as you remember, as you absolutely remember from the previous video. Another one, another one, scientific notation. If I'm going to report this number, I may say 1.856 times 10 to positive 2 kilograms. As you see here, the version of our writing, the format of our report is just changed. It looks we have something extra that we don't have any idea about them. Right now, I'm going to talk about these two forms. A standard number is a version and format of the numbers we use in our daily life to report any numbers. And scientific notation, they are numbers we use them for some specific purposes. If we have very small numbers, if we have any large numbers, we prefer to use scientific notation. If we say large number, it means like this. If we say to a small number, we may say like this one. As you see here, whenever we are going to report these two numbers, it takes time for us to report. It takes space and also we should be careful to report the zero digits in these two numbers. So we prefer in our chemistry class to report the numbers by another method, not the standard method. We prefer to learn report these numbers by scientific notation. It doesn't matter our numbers are too small or too large. We need to learn how to report one standard number to scientific notation number. So you need to learn how to convert one standard number to scientific notation by some examples I'm going to review for you guys. Before talking about the methodology to work on, I'm going to remind you for scientific notation numbers, we have this type of definition. Each scientific notation composed of two parts. Let me write like this, A times 10 to positive or negative N. A, in this form, we call that decimal part decimal part and here I'm sure you call that exponent part decimal part exponent part so each scientific notation composed of two parts decimal exponents for each part we have one condition for decimal part, our number must be between 1 and 10. Our decimal part must be a number between 1 and 10. So let me write this here. Must be between 1 
through 10. And for the exponents one, for the exponent one, n must be a whole number, a whole number, an integer number. It doesn't matter positive or negative. It doesn't matter. But it should, it must be a whole number. We are going to work on some examples here and see they are scientific notation number or not. So I may say 9.8 times 10 to positive 3. This is example of scientific notation because whenever I'm going to check that one, I say the decimal part is a number between 1 and 10 and exponent part is a whole number. So it confirms that we have an ex we have a scientific notation number. Let me work on another example. 9.8 times 10 to negative 3. How about this one? What do you think about that? Is it a scientific notation number? Yes or no? I'm sure you said yes. Hopefully, who knows? But in case we are going to review that one again, a number between 1 and 10 for the decimal part, and we have an integer or whole number. Again, it doesn't matter. We have positive or negative. So we call that number a scientific notation number. So it's going to call a scientific notation as well. Right now, I'm going to give it you some examples. They are not a scientific notation. 19.8 times 10 to positive 2. As you see here, this number, because of the decimal part, it cannot be called scientific notation. Decimal part is not a number between 1 and 10. So it's not a scientific notation number. Let me give it you this example. 9.18 times 10 to negative 3.1. As you see here, for the first part of this number, our decimal part is a number between 1 and 10. We have the negative, it would be okay. And right now, this exponent is not a whole number, is not a whole number it must be an integer. So because of this part, we don't call this number an, a scientific notation because of the exponent part. Right now, I'm going to ask you, please learn how to convert standard number to scientific notation when you use your calculator. We have different types of calculator, so that is why we don't have any unique prescription regarding the converting a standard number to scientific notation. I may ask you, you just need to read the guideline instruction of your calculator, or you can easily Google that to learn how to convert standard numbers to scientific notation whenever you are going to use your calculator. You just need to press a couple keys on your calculator and get that. But in case you don't have your calculator and you are going to convert a standard number to scientific notation, we are going to review a rule. So I'm going to keep that rule. We keep these numbers 185.6. So question is like that one. Convert 185.6 to scientific notation. the scientific notation. Right now, I may ask you, please read this strategy. The strategy we are going to apply. Move the decimal point to make a number 
between one and we are going to know what does that mean please look here 185.6 i need to move the decimal point to make a number between one and ten so i need to move that one if i put the decimal here i have 1.856 i move the decimal so decimal should be placed here 1.856 right now i have a number between one and ten. so it looks i made the decimal part of our scientific notation because our scientific notation has two components decimal and exponent part i made the decimal part right now you just need to say multiple 10 and the number of movement one two once twice so you move the decimal two times so you write it two. right now one possible question we should have positive or negative some textbook they said if you move from right to left right to left we have positive if you move from left to right the exponent is negative so this is the one method to learn how to apply positive or negative here if you move from right to left left to right sometimes it's confusing some of my colleagues said if you move from west to east east to west so if it helps you please memorize that otherwise i may ask my students to look at the original number original number if our original number this number is greater than one greater than one positive so if our original number greater than one positive if it was fewer than one negative so let's see how it works point zero 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 five nine three i'm going to report this number in scientific notation form so question is like this convert this number to the scientific notation form right now i may say this number is smaller than one is fewer than one so i predict my exponent has negative charge is negative exponent so i'm going to move that one so 5.93 it looks i made a number between 1 and 10 times 10 right now i count 1 2 3 4 and we report as negative negative exponent so we move the decimal point four times so this original number is fewer than one that is why i use the negative exponent here but you don't need to do like me if you use your calculator just learn how to convert the standard number to scientific notation as well another method to learn your exponent is correct or not you just need to look at the numbers if you make a smaller number like this this is 185 and you made 1.8 a smaller number you should use the positive if you have a smaller number and you make greater one greater one five point something so you just need to use negative they are different methods but my suggestion if you like is this one please have enough practice and
Thank you guys for watching this video as well.